Hi guys, Dan here from Your Guitar Academy and today we're going to be looking at five Carlos Santana licks and I've picked five licks that are going to not only test you in terms of the physicality of playing them but also theory wise because we're going to be looking a little bit at the minor scale, the Dorian scale, the harmonic minor scale and some really cool pentatonic stuff as well because at the end of the day Santana uses all of it. So we'll be going through each of the five licks and it will be really useful to kind of have the tab ready to go up in front of you so just head on over to the website Let's get on and have a look at the first lick. So this first Santana style lick is in A Dorian. So we're kind of up here on the fifth fret and we're using our A minor pentatonic shape one as well as our A Dorian shape in this, in this area of the neck which looks like this. Root, second, flat third, fourth, fifth, sixth, flat seven and root. And if I carry on, I've got my second, flat third, fourth, fifth, sixth, which is the key note, that Dorian note, flat seven, and then root, okay? Okay, now the lick itself is basically going through an A minor arpeggio to start with, so uh, a minor seventh arpeggio, I should say. So we're starting on the seventh fret of the D string. That's the root. Then we're doing the minor third. Then the fifth. Then the flat seven. Okay. Then we're going to grab the eighth, the fifth fret. So the root again. Okay. Then we're going to jump back to the fifth fret. Okay. Then the eighth fret on the B string. And then we're going to do a little semitone slide from 6 to 7. So that brings us into that Dorian sound. And then back up to the root note. Okay? So nice and slow is this. And again, so arpeggio. Then, little kind of pentatonic thing. Then slide into that Dorian note. And then the fifth fret. And like anything with Santana, actually you don't want too much vibrato, okay? So my temptation would be that, but for Santana, let the guitar do the talking. Okay, so lick number two, same kind of concept, same kind of idea as the first lick, but just with a kind of twitchy little Santana thing that I wanted to kind of go through with you guys. So first of all, it's still based in that kind of A minor idea, but we don't hear so many Dorian notes here. We are still basically in Dorian, so we'll kind of stick with that same scale idea. But now we're gonna start with this kind of grab, this fifth fret grab, which is basically the top of an A minor seventh chord, okay? And then we're gonna go through the scale notes. So five, seven, eight, 10. And then I'm going to come back to the seventh fret. Okay. And then I'm going to move my fingers over to the kind of box two of the pentatonic. And I'm going to hammer on from eight to ten. So it's that melody line, isn't it? That kind of oh, you come of our kind of melody. And of course, melody is absolutely crucial for Santana. Use the Dorian scale to create the melody, okay? And then this is the key part of it that I really like. That kind of little twitchy sound that Santana uses all the time. So going from this very strong, solid melody to this is kind of his real trademark, I think. It's kind of like a call and response, essentially. And what we're doing here is we're just coming back into that pentatonic box one. And we're going seven, five, seven, seven, pull off to five, and then seven. But a couple of things that are absolutely crucial here. One is that that's very quick, okay? Okay, that's, that's the first thing that's important. That's kind of 16th note quite fast, okay? And also that your accent is in the right place. So the accent is on the second seven on the G string. That accent makes all the difference. There it is without. Now with. It really 
really adds a real flavour, a bit of character to that part. Okay, so it's supposed to be quick and throw away and a little bit scrambled. And as you'll hear from listening to Santana play, it is a little bit scrambled. I'm not even sure all those notes are necessarily that clear as he's playing them, but it's that's the basic idea. So that lick one more time. <laughs> and there you have it. Okay, so let's go through this lick. Now, we're back in that kind of Dorian thing, but now we're up here in the pentatonic box four in A minor. And if we bring in the Dorian notes, okay, so in, in, in Dorian we'll bring in the second and we'll bring in the, the sixth degree of the major scale, so we'll be having this scale shape. So a lot of you guys might know it as the kind of E minor scale, okay, but it, importantly it's from A and therefore it's A Dorian, okay. And this lick, I absolutely love it. It really targets those, those minor notes, the Dorian notes, the notes that are not in the pentatonic basically. And that's something that you'll see Santana doing a lot around his pentatonic playing. So we're going to start with this bend on the 15th fret. It's going to go up a whole tone. And you're going to do it three times, okay? You can either pluck it three times, or just essentially you know, let the bend ring out three times. Okay? Now, once you've done that on the third time, you're going to let it come down, and then you've got to pull off to the 12th fret. So you get... Okay? Then I'm going to hammer a slide, sorry, from the 13 to the 14. Love that little slide there, and that semitone slide takes me into that Dorian note. Okay, and then I'm going to grab the 17th fret, okay, up in pentatonic box 5, and come back to the 13th fret, which is a minor scale note, okay. And it can sound a little weird, but it's absolutely bang on, okay. This is a great, great note, and this is just basically the minor third from the A, okay, the A minor chord, okay, so it's a really good note to land on, really solid melodic note to land on. So all together we get this. Okay, and it's just another example of how creative Santana is with his, with his kind of note choicing. It really feels very deliberate and is not just kind of rambling around the scale, it's really, really cool and, and good, well phrased note choices, okay. So one more time for that lick. Okay, so this lick, okay, is very much using the A harmonic minor, and it's a great example of how Santana uses that. Again, it's beautifully phrased, it's well played, um, there's not really a huge amount of vibrato. Again, we're going to let the guitar and the feedback do the talking, okay? Sometimes I can't help myself with the vibrato, but I'll show you how Santana would do it as an example. So we're basically in that pentatonic box four, A minor. But we're using the A harmonic minor here. And what the A harmonic minor is, is the A minor scale, but with a raised seventh degree. So rather than the flat seven, there, we've got the raised seven, okay? And what that does is it really brings a nice resolve to the, the A, okay? And therefore really puts you in quite a dark sounding minor key, okay? It's, it's quite common to hear uh, the kind of when you, when you talk about harmonizing a minor key, minor scale, that use the harmonic minor scale rather than the natural minor, because it gives you a set of chords which are much more tailored to the minor sound. It's a darker sound, okay? So that's the scale, that's the kind of chord. The kind of scale shape we're roughly using, okay? But let's just go through the, the, actual, the actual lick itself. So we're hammering on from 12 to 14, letting that ring out for a whole bar. Then we're going to go through this harmonic minor idea. So 13, 14, 12. And on the B string 12, I'm then going to hit it again and bend up a semitone. Back down. Then go 14, 12, pull off. So we've got so far. 
two, three, four, one. And then we're going to grab the 13th fret here, okay, and I'm going to just do a little quarter bend, on, not quarter bend, a little bluesy curl. Just a, just a little bit of that. You know, so just stopping it dead as soon as you hear it move. And then back to that root note of A. Okay, that's the first part of the lick. So all together, two, three, four, one. Okay, and again, don't, don't kind of get caught into that trap of vibrato. If you want to sound like uh, Santana, just, just let it ring, okay? Not too much vibrato, okay? He does go there, he does do the vibrato when needed, but generally when he's doing melodies, he doesn't do too much vibrato, okay? So, then we're gonna jump up to the 15th fret of the B string and a big old full tone bend. Just to finish the lick off, okay? Notice how all three of my fingers are really pushing up on that. So the whole lick together. Okay, and there we have it. Now, just one little kind of theoretic note here, which I think is really important, is that if you are playing in a minor key, um, you can generally always um, overlay the harmonic minor, even if the, 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 the key that you're playing in is harmonized with the natural minor scale. So using your standard kind of a minor scale to create the chords and the melodies and everything else, you can still throw in that A harmonic minor. It will sound good and it will generally work. It just will bring a little bit more tension to the sound of the solo. Okay, so let's go through this little lick. Now, I've deliberately thrown the last one in here to give you a real challenge. And it's a pentatonic lick. It's just a basic pentatonic lick, but because it's so high up, it's something I, could, I would really kind of challenge you to learn. So it's based around that A minor pentatonic right at the top there. And we start with this classic, classic Santana style kind of double sound uh, kind of dissonance, I would say. And essentially we're grabbing the 17th fret on the high E string and the 20th fret on the B string. And I'm gonna bend up the B string a full tone and keep the 17 where it is giving us that sound. We want a little bit of tension, remember. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. And then we're gonna grab the high 17th fret two more times. Okay. Then we're gonna do that double bend again twice. But on the second time, we're gonna come up, down, and pull off, okay? So we get this. Then we're gonna come down to the 19th fret on the G string, so in that pentatonic box, and we're gonna play that once, then I'm gonna play it again, and this time I'm gonna go up, down, pull off, so full tone, then down to the 19th fret on the D string, and then hammer on the 17th to the 19th. Which all together gives us this. And notice that you might want to start using your first and second fingers rather than the first and the third, just because it's so tight up here. It depends what you're playing. I'm using a kind of a, a Les Paul kind of style body here, and therefore this thing is right in the way sometimes. So I find myself reverting to my first and second fingers sometimes. But because the frets are so close, it's absolutely doable. And this lick is all about that aggression, okay? And it really gives that, oops, sorry. That kind of double sound with that dissonance as the bend is going up, but the, the main note is still clear. Really gives that aggression. And that's kind of towards the end of your classic kind of Santana solo, where he's really, really giving it some. Okay guys, that's it from me. I really hope you've enjoyed those licks. Remember that if you head on over to the website, you'll find the full tab. I'll see you next time.